Hello, lads and gents. Uh, Gorbital here with, well, as you can probably tell, Firewatch. Watching a fires. Just, eh, I fancy doing some kind of narrative for a change. And this may have been on a sale relatively recently, so I'm actually managed to buy it. Oh, uh, you know, it's. Uh, I've, I've got a vague idea of the first kind of the setup, but after that, no idea what happens in this whatsoever. So it's uh, super interesting. interesting. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Bim, 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 bim. Hey, Campo Santo! Panic Incorporated. That. I gotta be honest, that doesn't sound like a place you want to hire for anything. Um. Yeah. Hello, Boulder. It's a nice Boulder. It's gonna fade here. Mouse, 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 mouse. You see Julia. Click. Apparently I see Julia. By your age, late twenties, laughing of well dressed professors and grad students from nearby Cuba. Cuba. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. Uh what's your major? So you slur the word major and it smells like cause because you have a terrible taste in beer. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool. You reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Why would she hurt your feelings? She asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you're Julia's boyfriend. It's one hell of a cheeseburger. This. Yeah, maybe it's like splitting you giving your last rah! Okay, I thought I was expecting more text, not no 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 god I can turn quick. I have feet I have feet shuffle 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 Right Pick up my back And Can I can I can I can I annoy this the uh, security person? No? Okay. Ba -da -do -do. Well, I'll load my gear. Then what I'll do, if it. No, oh, no, I've, got, I've closed it already. Okay. I was going to go steal that other tyre. But, you know. You did it for over a year. She drives absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You drink beer out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Laugh is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle Julia is in love with. She wants to bring it, home, bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad can happen to Julia walking this dog. It's badass. Where's my mouse gone? There we are. Let's get the beagle. She wants the beagle. Let's, so let's get the beagle. Yay! Forget about the other dog. Which we wanted just because it was big. Which is not the best reason to get a dog. That one looks scary. Um, I don't want a scary dog. I don't want a dog just because it's scary. I want a dog because it's nice. It's basically a family member, of course. So. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? Arseholes. Kids? Not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you could hike now that I have kids. A couple of idiots. Uh, no. She looks away towards the mountains. You have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, Majora. You tell her she is the body of an undergrad. My Everys can't did get the memo, she says, laughing it off. Okay. One day. Six months later, you get engaged lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Because that's romantic, apparently. You just roll over and go, hear the ring! You just stay forever. No, alright. Wait a minute, did I actually have a proper logo on the steam wheel? Is this a day you? Is this. Apparently, it's no one. Come on, got it. I'm having a hat. I have a hat. Can I do anything with the hat? I can, I can drop the hat. Pick up hat. I can examine the hat. He's a nice hat. It is a lovely hat. 
I'm taking this with me. Okay, I'm just keeping this hat now. Take a fair head. Um, learn to live with bears. What is it? Literally is with a cape? Um, Thoroughfare Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. You may get murdered. Primitive Black Backcountry Trail. Not Black Country. That, that's a place in England. Uh, now forward. I forget to check in. This is... Place. Okay. Jonesy Lake. Okay. So I've got this hat, right? What's this? I wonder what's in that. Is that just for stubbing out your cigarettes or what? Hello? Hello, I found your hat. Whoever is here has hat. Hello? It's Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry about a minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Um, I don't even make any difference. You call her inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. She's being a bit selfish. So. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Do I look like a Victoria's Secret model? Very nice. Frolicking! Oh, I've still got the hat. Hey! Hey! What happened to the hat? Oh! I like that hat. Get the sun off me face. Had a horse on it. And it was yellow. I like yellow. And horses. I like having the sun off my face. Uh, it's all, all together a good combination. I mean, I could make something out of this, I guess. It's got a straw hat for dry out the grass. And draw a horse on it. Thank you, subtitles. You were definitely necessary for this. Alright. Log. Space. <laughs> yep, that's the sun. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town that brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Okay. Bucket gets kicked. But bab it's your fucking jog! Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the, the attacker. You scare him away. Reach into your pocket like you got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all You manage to scare all right, all three of you, he runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay, you don't really want to go that way. And then on you walk by the river. It's probably a nicer route anyway. 984, plans to get kids, get away with that work. Julia gets off the job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. They also make locks. It's a good job, associate department chair. She wants to move. She likes being sat on. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Um, I'm going to stop the job. Both of these are a bit shit. You ask her if she'll commute. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. Uh, don't pass it up. Flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Yeah. Julia was sent home from Yale on pain leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that are important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She's found crying in the stairwell. Eh. You say that maybe you guys should talk about it, uh, talk to someone about it. Yep. After seeing multiple doctors and having many, many tests, you are worried that Julie might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. We have decided to keep it secret for now, for some reason. Right, I... Now I'm rooted to the spot and can only turn around so far. I'm guessing I'm going to have to pick up this journal. Yay! Apparently I have a beard. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. With absolutely zero support for her oncoming, oncoming illness. Because they're keeping it secret. Mm. 
Jimmy's affliction gets worse, she can't remember things in class, her research is in shambles, she drives her car to next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the t some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots, other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips uh, to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. That happens with the bed, Julia. Yeah, you, you spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly trips with Daniel, the nurse. Well, we have a spaniel. He's called Daniel. Oh. And I'll make some really terrible poem about him and the dog. He suggests that Julia could, should live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care, a home. He sits with you for a couple of days. Um. Gonna move with her. Uh. By yourself, I don't know if this character's equipped for it. I don't know, really. Because there's always. They're skipping it, they're doing extremes on either decision, because I, I know you end up with it basically being terrible regardless, and that's the setup, so. Um. Oh, no, it's. Facilita. Hello, ground. Wait. Hello, rocks. Oh, God, that looks dangerous. Uh. Do -do -do. Bounce. Oh, I can't bounce. I can't, I can't jump. Oh. oh. I can squint, squint, oh, vision. That's a tree. This is a log. Boop, 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 boop. Zoom in on the log. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, you, you a dear. I get it. Your family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move in there. You see her every day. Then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friend. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, If you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I'll cut your balls off. You slowly decide not to see your old friends that much. You don't ask them about this or anything to try and get away from the anxiety and growing paranoia, but you know. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old talk writer and urges you to use it if you want to see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Okay. Months go by, Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock on, in on you. In the back of your mind you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Wait, so I'm leaving because reasons. That's... So I'm basically just abandoning my sick wife. So... Okay, I'm setting this up as a sympathetic character then. Hello? There we go. Enter the lookout tower. Can I go look at this? Can I sprint? No. This, this looks interesting, possibly. No, it's just it's just a rock with a fence around it. What's it? I suppose that gap might be a bit of a surprise, but. Okay, there's no, there's no fence around the rest of it, but this bit is is be fenced. Do 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 woo do do do. There's a tower. Okay, stars. Tower. Tower is tall. Tower is tall. And bad from going up. Where's the toilet? There's a toilet for this. Oh, there it is. Good. Need a toilet. I want a Jenny. Can I turn the Jenny on to generate the toilet. Um, it's actually connected to the tower in anywhere. It's running apparently. What? Outhouse. Mine. This is my. This is my friend. 
I have to, okay. I have to basically act like a mad person for them. Because I can't keep things. Oh. No. Fold it down, does it? Uh. Wow. That was. That was pathetic. Meanwhile, I'm going to take my cardboard friend with me. Da 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 da. Show me your face, weird nosed man. You will be my friend and companion while I live in that tower all alone pretending to be a wizard and only talking like this. Yes. Going up a tower. It's quite tall and I've got a wooden friend. Well, this definitely doesn't need repaint or anything. Uh, so I wouldn't friend, I'll have to... Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, God! What happened? Um. Um. Can I leave that open? So I can't take my wooden friend in with me. Can I just pop him in? Um. That's... That's fine. That's... That's fine. Oh, 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 yeah! Yeah, I okay, can get him in, I just have to break the universe. Okay, now I want him. I want to be able to see his face. Because it, it's still difficult, I just want him to. Let's. All right, one more try. Ugh. Um. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, right, what have we got? Radio. Bhutan. Bhutan! Hello, Two Forks Tower. Bhutan. What? Let's draw. Panko. Panko. Come in. All right, fine. How do I? All right. I was wondering why I was holding it backwards. Then hold left shift. Oh, I have to hold it down. Um. Oh. Hello. Okay. Whoever hello. This is. It's Henry, right? Okay. Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. <laughs> Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... Sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Um, you could fix husband rebelling against mom. Okay. Um, you're probably um, just rebelling against a mom one. who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well... She also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Yeah. Meh. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was, I thought I'd just gently put that down and go to bed, not suddenly text. Is a day the first. Hello. Hello. Good morning, Henry. Well, there you go. I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call Come me on, when you're so ready. I'm stuck. Can I? Uh, I can't. Can I? Uh, duh. Yeah, that's not a desk lamp, that's a pencil. Important difference. Can I? Uh, okay, I'm just nailed here. Uh, 
I know, hey, hold left shift. Sorry, guess I slept in. You okay. got relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Yes. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, Smithson. Fi what the uh, fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? And use compass, okay. All right, so that's that's north, is it? I need you to confirm. Is that actually Do you see needle? Them? Yeah, okay. Whoa, that? that's not legal, right? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. No, you need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire Very illegal. The fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Okay. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Wow, that's... Smart. Shut up. <clears throat> okay. Uh, oh, oh, can I? Uh, yeah, uh, uh. How's this? Eight room. Yes, that's a book. Um. Okay. That's. What's in here? No, nothing. Eh, eh. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Let's have a look at this. Two walks. Oh, I see. I see. It's a it's a D and D version of the actual map. Okay. Nah. Okay. Just D. Where's D twenty gone? Oh, it's fallen down the crack there. Uh. Fine. Okay, wooden friend. You 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 stay safe. You stay there. Am I going the right way? Yes. Nope. I don't know why we did that. We just walked, but okay. Da -da -da. Jump? No. Okay. M to read map. Alright, alright, alright. Let's find a rope in Chaffinch. Um, oh, Jesus. Okay, so if I... Can I... Eh. So if I go exit. Okay. Where do I need to go? Fair six. Which is down this way. Going even in faintly the right direction? I don't know. Let's, let's go down this way. Hmm. Am I going the right way? No, no, I am not. Okay, it's a dotted line. Oop. Let's go up here then. If I go. Okay. Look, I'm not good with maps, alright? Am I going the right way? Where is dotted land? So it's. Path this way somewhere? Hello? Hello, toilet. Oh, can I play with this? No. Okay. Just that way. Uh, where is path? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Better. 
So I'm guessing the path is down here between these two hills then. There we go. I'm actually going in kind of the right direction. Yep, I'm on the path now. That's good. Hello, log. Hello. 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 Do I have to put the map away? Okay. Just don't have my hat. Well, I think it's just follow the path at this point. Pop. Oh, hello! This would be the box of boxness, I assume. This is. Well, I, I found can... the supply box. Great! It's... Yep. Really? I have to do this. One. Two. Three. Is it animated properly? Oh, it kind of is. That's nice. Eh. Click. Copy information. Um, okay. Note. Press Q. Hey, man! Guy couldn't take it, so I locked out his lookout and put stuff in the box. Found those bars you like hacking in the. Okay, whatever. Um, I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. Still know so everything. You should be set to get down to the lake. Yes, this is a rope. You can look at Yum. Fine. People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. It doesn't look bear proof. I'm going to be honest, this does not look bearproof. Can I? Oh, we go. Examine. Jeez, yes, this is definitely Gnola. And I shall eat. Hold to eat. Man. It's a map pancon. I shall examine the pancon. And then I shall throw the pancon. When I say throw, it's the most pathetic throw in the world. Hey, I found a note yeah. to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. Yeah, no. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the ground and eat ants for a week type. That's totally a good seller type. Cuckoo, which is kind of what the job attracts. I'm going to keep this. <laughs> He's man. This is man now. What the hell do I do? Where's him? Yeah. Where the hell am I going now? How do I zoom? The medicine wheel. Well, screw this. Let's just look at where the explosions are. I mean, they let them off during the day for some stupid reason, but I feel like just due west, I guess. End for campus, yeah, just. And yep, explosions. There's a jogging thing. Oh, good God! Why was I not told this earlier? Why would I turn this off? Oh, oh. well, this looks safe. Um. Do anything with this? Is this where I'm going to get down? I, I, oh! Sure, I just saw radio. Yep. This vista is incredible. Yeah, whatever. Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. And there's a canyon, and then the rest of, well, everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over yeah. this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> Maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. That was Sandy. Okay. I don't want to go around this massive rock there. 
I'd be concerned about the dust coming off this. Maybe it will tink. Is, is there some kind of wind chime up here or what? Ugh, I can't climb that, so. Oof, that's not just me going, going mental. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Aha! Here we go! It is a post! For attaching rope! Oh yeah, I have to put the compass away. Eh, how the hell? How close do I have to be? Eh. Hooray! Why would you bother doing that? Space bar to repel! Just go the way. No, I have to. Do I just. What? Alright, push back. This is sturdy. Well, we're not going back up that way. Not dead. Hey. What yep. the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Just another repelling point. Well, I could be using that if I've got no rope. Oh. Uh, hey, there's a tie off point off here, just huh? a little away from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. <laughs> Alright. It's a long summer. You can explore water. later. I'm gonna report the meadow. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. Yeah. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Yes. I'm reporting in that I found a meadow. That's that's good. Do, 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 do. And I found some litter bugs. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them yeah. all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Red Eagle. Yeah. What are this? Oh, hold E to clean. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming I've got a bin bag on me somewhere. Either that, I'm just shoving this into my anus. Which, you never know. Hank, or Fred, or whatever the hell this guy's name. Might be, oh, Henry, that was it. Which have neither of those. What do you know? People with shitty what manners drink do? shitty beer. What, you don't like yeah. a cold muscle light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. I think that's all of them. Habitaboo. Or not. Ugh. Ugh. Stuff looks terrible. Hello, oh, bags. Up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Yeah. Oh, look. They decided to have Dude. a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Do. How strong is this stuff? They've done quite a lot of it. Apparently it's recyclable, but has no strength on it. I, I don't know if that's normal in the States to not declare the, the alcohol content. No. Yeah, but do. Stompy stompy. That's, well, that's pathetic. It's just... Really? Really, Henry? Remove when I'm stomping? Well, no. Out their fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. 
Now, what about this one? Ferreter. Bolton Island. 57 mil. Ah, 40%. Yep. Yeah, that's you that's whiskey. a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Do 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 do. <laughs> Not abusing my power. A little bit of the time. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Well, fireworks. Uh, well, confiscate them. That is a scary face. Whatever. I've now got a bag full of alcohol and explosives. This is um, yeah. Well, they left their clothes out. There. Uh. It looks like uh, two people. Oh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously Good still there, so tell them off and then head back. Hello, remark. That is quite a small bra. Huh. I found a bra. Okay. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. I can examine this. Yep, definitely bra. Okay. And knickers. The skinny dipping, of course, is going to be increasingly less clothing. Only one pair. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was thinking, what? What? Only one of them has taken their underwear off. That'd just be weird. Yeah. New match. Mm. Yeah. That looks horrendously dangerous. It's about a bit of bad taste in music. Where's the stereo? Squeaky Brad voice. In the woods. Hey, he's going to mess with our stuff. Don't go back there, you dick. I don't like this. Can we go? Um. Yeah. Even though it's skeezer means. I guess it was perv or something. Stump the fun more. Hey, that go okay? But by stomp, I mean lightly prod. Ooh, butterfly. Ooh, butterfly. Butterfly. I might have got a little hot. Eh. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. <clears throat> Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with him, though. Seriously. No problem. We'll put the meadow again. Hey, I'm back near that big huh. rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. I have no idea where I'm going, I'm just jumping over things. Alright, there's a damn compass. Huh? Oh. Pears, pears, pears! Yes! yes! What the hell? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> oh, anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. Thanks. Okay. I just hop over this or no? No. No, judging by the low texture res on those rocks, I'm guessing I'm not meant to go this way. Ooh, leaf. Ugh, do I really have to go back towards the damn lake? Well, this is lake and then south, so it can't be that bad. Flower. Is there a flower? Huh? Eh. Eh. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. 
No, but choice south anyway. South is actually that. Okay. So I'm skimming along this part of the lake. Jolly good. Mr. Uh, Sun. Okay, yeah, so shall I pull the meadow rocks. again? Where do I go again? Go back towards the lake, turn north, and east through the canyon. There should be a trail on oh, the far north. east side okay. of it. Back to lake, turn north. And that pile of rocks is back to the lake. Okay. Hmm. Do do do. Do do do. Stompy, stompy. Eh, eh. Gonna lightly nudge this until it goes away. That's what I'm gonna do. Is that north? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Compass. Come on. I'm not gonna nick the bra. Just don't want it. Don't think it'll fit me. Wonder if they're still there. Nope. They've gone and left all their possessions behind. What if I can stick <laughs> I just pull this out of the now it's gone. Uh, any chance of those kids yeah. getting a disease in this lake, like diphtheria or consumption or consumption? Not if they're not nineteenth century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean if they drank a bunch, Giardia maybe, no, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice if they'd caught some horrible disease. Maybe they'll somehow catch chlamydia from the lake. Don't ask how, just lots of people with chlamydia, I'm guessing, just go to the lake and it just ends up being filled with it. Just so much it's impossible not to catch it. Oh, well, that were people robbing them against ro robbing themselves against rocks or something. Going through the canyon, going through the canyon. Looks like it's making bad be be beans. Um, okay. <laughs> so, this place is, I guess, pretty. Uh, it's nice art style, but. Eh, it's just rocks. It's <laughs> nice. Nice sky, done. Oh, look, Antarctica. No, it's the continent of Antarctica is in the sky. This, this will end poorly. Yeah. Splish. Oh, splish. 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 So, splish. I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Oh, yeah. Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. <sighs> I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about... Uh, while you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that yeah. sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know yeah, when right. you get back to your lookout. So I think it's a two forks lookout. What it? I guess just follow this until there's a slope, really. I don't have to climb anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Ha ha! Jockey, 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 jockey. Oh, that's. Hey, that's... I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning. It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather uh, not. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice, all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Yeah, but not. But we got fed up being struck by lightning. And it's gonna oh, for the love of God. I wanna not be electric ele electrified just for one, two, four, five. Yep, yeah, that's that's definitely how it works. Can I make this go the other way? Or can I do can I stop? How do I 
Can I? Eh. All right. Okay. Jesus Christ. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Do that, and then okay. Great, I managed to get that wrong somehow. Right, copy information. Thunder Canyon. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers, and secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Okay, so, oh, it changed from horn to antler. That was nice. Can I, I'm going to examine this. It's definitely an antler. <clears throat> and then close that. Huh. Right. What's in this Hello, cave, cave? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey. I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> ah, I'm an asshole. <laughs> climby, climby. Well, as someone who basically abandoned his his wife, who's now been struck down with dementia. Um, yep, I'm an asshole. Unless they Oops. meant that the job is to pay for her treatment or something, but they didn't state that. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you. Is he doing anything else? I, I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I. Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Yeah. Look, bumping into someone <laughs> is part of the fun. <laughs> well, I need to fix that. <sighs> See when that comes under my job description as well. If not, I might just do it anyway. You know, the whole not dying by falling into a hole thing. It's it's a lifestyle choice, I admit. Hello, death! What the... <laughs> oh, okay, I got this way. <laughs> I thought that I thought they wanted me to vault over the fence then. Jesus Christ. <laughs> climb me, climb me, rocks. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Mantle. Climb, oh God! Yes, I get it. Press space to. Hello. Apparently, there's only countless rocks in certain sections. Yeah. Get tired just watching. Hmm. Antarctica's gone. Oh Jesus Christ! That hey, is. You a keep your lights Ooh. on at night. I'm doing a crossword puzzle. I, I do a lot of crossword puzzles. Eh. Yep. Yep. Oh good God! No one heard of a ladder in this place. Or stairs, you know. Ugh. And this was a, you know, a marked out route with that little uh, signpost and everything. Ish. So apparently this is an official path. I'm not sure path is the right, is the right term. Oh, it, is the trail closed because of that, you know, that, that one bridge? Not because of it, the fact that there's barely anything here. Damn it. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but 
you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. <laughs> Can I report the toilet? I think this is an important thing. Oop. Yes, I can, uh, apparently. So it's uh, just the outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one, at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. So this generator is all the power I've got out here? Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about yeah, sure. Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind. No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. No. Well, oh, cardboard friend is still okay. Someone yeah. broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Is that a note or letter? As far as the big day I was going to travel to... Hacked in last night, got lost. Okay. Okay, I put in a call. Yeah. Well, what can they do about it? W will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? The Soap Man. Yeah. I don't know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down okay. in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and Help out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. Yeah, I need fun you patterns. to feel safe out here. Well, I sure don't now. You will. I, yep. I promise. Can, can I use it to patch up the window? Cardboard friend! Or wooden friend, whatever. If you plywood, it's kind of the cardboard of wood. Yeah. Um, it's true. Ish. And ish is the best you're gonna get on this channel. Uh, yeah. Wake up. <laughs> hey, wake up. Hey. Is that a rock? Do I have a special rock? Oh, this got ventilation. Uh, all right, damn radio. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? I'm awake. Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working oh, either. Oh joy. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup. The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So that's a no. Yay, well, I'm it's off. easier for me to send all the lookouts yes. out to check the status yeah. of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. <gasps> so you're going to want to go back there, Space go through boss. it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked Salmon. me out as a kid. He inspired Salmon. me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. 
A shrink would have a field yeah. day with you. Ah, thanks, Mom. Nah, nah, sure. Okay, that's that's close to. Uh, yay! Oh. 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 Nah. Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east is made of acid. Sounds erroneous. Looks like the previous resident was into fantasy. Yep. D20 is probably still lodged under the damn table. Well, I think I might call it here for an episode since we've just done a load of stuff. And yes, I shall see you all. Nick, Nick, oh, I smell it. Ah!